This instructional video will show you how to perform an alignment job with the SKF Shaft Alignment Tool TKSA51 and highlights its most important features. We will use a demo rig setup and guide you through the steps required to perform a simple horizontal alignment job. The TKSA51 works with Apple iOS and Android tablets. SKF recommends to use the tablet in a rugged case to provide extra protection. The TKSA51 measuring units are operated with an app that is available free of charge from the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. The app communicates with the tablet wirelessly using Bluetooth. The TKSA51 is a compact and comprehensive system. The complete system fits in a small SKF case weighing less than 3 kilograms so it can easily be carried on an alignment job together with a case of machinery shims. The most useful accessories are already included in the case such as extension rods to see over a coupling, extension chains for mounting the brackets on large shafts, magnetic brackets to allow mounting the brackets on the side of the coupling. Furthermore, the TKSA51 is delivered with a quick start guide and a calibration certificate valid two years. Contact SKF for more information about recalibration. The brackets can be mounted on the coupling if needed. When the shaft has a small diameter, we advise passing the chain through the inside of the bracket. Otherwise, Pass the chain on the outside of the bracket. The brackets are already mounted on the shafts. The M unit must be mounted on the motor or movable side. The S unit must be mounted on the stationary side. Turn on the measuring units by pressing the on-off button in the back until the LED light comes on. Launch the app. Tap the help button to access the instructions for use, find a distributor or technical support. Short instructional video clips are available from within the app to show you how to use the system. Tap the settings icon. You can fill out the report template, add a company name, the name of the operator and a company logo. This information will be automatically added to all new reports. It is possible to switch between metric and imperial units. PDF reports can be easily accessed directly from the home screen. Tap the plus icon to start a new alignment job. On the machine information screen, the distances must be entered. Measure the first horizontal dimension from the center of the S unit bracket and the center of the coupling using the tape measure supplied. Tap the first dimension of the left and enter the measured value. Validate with the green button. The second dimension is measured from the center of the coupling and the center of the M unit bracket. The third dimension is the horizontal distance from the center of the M unit bracket to the front bolts of the motor. The last dimension is the horizontal distance between the front and rear bolts of the motor.
it is also possible to enter a machine ID and add a photo of the machine, which will be shown in the report. Tap on the Tolerances table. The system uses tolerance to decide if the machine is aligned or not. The operator must enter the tolerances for the machine based on the knowledge of the machine and coupling type. Alternatively, a table of preset tolerances based on motor speed is available. Read the speed of the motor and select the corresponding tolerance. During vertical correction of the motor, the operator can choose to view fixed or live correction values. Choose shims for fixed correction values. Choose adjustable chocks for live correction values. Fixed values are efficient for beginners, whereas live values give experienced operators more control. Tick the soft foot check performed mark if soft foot has been checked. If the operator fails to align the machine after a couple of attempts, a soft foot might be responsible. In that case, check for soft foot using the soft foot app. A separate app called Soft Foot is available to measure and correct soft foot with the TKSA51. Tap on Done once the machine information page is filled in. The sensor status page shows the status of the measuring unit. It will be shown automatically to the operator when needed, for example when the app is used the first time or measuring units are not connected. The first time measuring units are used with a tablet. They can be connected by tapping on Select Hardware. Tap the serial number of each measuring unit and tap Done. If the measuring units do not connect, make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your tablet. The measuring units are both switched on and charged. The sensor status screen also helps you adjust the measuring units before the first measurement. The two measuring units should face each other. If the angle difference is greater than two degrees, correct this by manually moving one measuring unit. Then tighten the brackets firmly. Tighten the M measuring unit on the rods. Adjust the position of the S measuring unit on the rods so that the center of the detector aligns with the laser line from the M measuring unit. Tighten the S measuring unit. Turn the knob on top of the M measuring units to adjust the laser line to the center of the detector of the S measuring unit. Now the setup is complete. During measurement, it is not allowed to make adjustments to this setup. Tap on Done. The 3D Live View allows the operator to freely rotate the machines from any angle. No matter which side of the machine you are, the display will adapt to your position. The TKSA51 allows starting a measurement at any angle. Three measurements must be taken with a minimum angle of 20 degrees between each. Measurement angles lower than 90 degrees are useful when the space to rotate the shafts is limited. However, we recommend using the traditional 9, 12, 3 or 3, 12, 9 measurements method whenever possible. This means taking three measurements at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. The arrows around the measuring units guide you towards the 9, 12, 3 positions. A red arrow means you cannot take a measurement. Blue means you can take the measurement. For the first measurement, rotate the shafts towards the 9 o'clock position. Rotate the shaft by touching the coupling or shafts, never by pulling or pushing the measuring unit's brackets. Take out any play in the coupling by rotating the shafts in the same direction for all three measurements. When the measuring units are within the 9 o'clock measurement area, the record button becomes green and the arrow disappears. Tap on Record First. Move the measuring units to the 12 o'clock position and tap on Record Second. Move the measuring units to the 3 o'clock position and tap on Record Third. The result page shows the measured misalignment results on the movable machine with illustrations and compares the measured values with the chosen tolerances. Misalignment is a combination of offset and angular misalignment. Both have to be corrected in the vertical and horizontal planes. 
at least one red cross indicates the machines are misaligned. Tap on adjust to move on to the correction screen. In shims mode, the amount of shims to be added or removed is shown. Do not forget to correct all four feet of the movable machine. Loosen the bolts. Add or remove the shims. Tap on Shimming Done. Move the measuring units to a horizontal 3 o'clock position or 9 o'clock position if necessary. Move the movable machine towards the direction shown by the arrows. When the alignment is within tolerance, two green tick marks appear. Tighten the bolts. Tap Adjustment Done. Remeasurement is a necessary step to make sure the machines are correctly aligned. Tap on Remeasure and take three measurements just like before. If the misalignment is within tolerance, the Alignment Done button will be green. If this is not the case, tap on the Adjust button to correct the alignment one more time. Please note, it may take a couple of attempts before machines can be correctly aligned within the chosen tolerance. When the machines are aligned, tap on Alignment Done. A PDF report is instantly created and will be marked with the label New on the home screen. Tap the New Report to open it. Notes, a photo and a manual signature can also be added. Tap on the signature to open the edit screen. Tap on the signature field. Sign with your finger and validate with Done. Click Report to go back. Your signature is now added to the report. The PDF report can now be exported and sent by email for example. We have one more thing to show you. A unique feature of the TKSA51, the Automatic Measurement function. Enable the Automatic Measurement function from the settings. The Automatic Measurement function allows you to take measurements automatically without the press of a button and therefore keep your hands free for rotating or holding the shafts. Place the measuring unit at 9 o'clock. Tap on Start Auto to start the automatic measurement. Rotate the shafts to the second position. As soon as you stop turning the measuring units, a second measurement will be taken. Repeat to take the third measurement. We have shown you how to perform an alignment with the SKF TKSA 51. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. For more information on the TKSA 51 or other SKF shaft alignment tools, please go to skf.com alignment or contact your local authorized SKF distributor.